is it safe to say that it's uh people find it counterintuitive to know that you're like a dispensary selling weed and stuff <laughs> you know what I man i just i'm enjoying the rebranding of what cannabis is to be quite honest all right you know i didn't grow up as a kid uh, smoking or, or or any of that stuff. Never even got in trouble with the law. Um, but uh, but I was in my early thirties, man. I went on a ski trip with some buddies of mine in Aspen, and they had some great shit. And it was just like eye opening how great it was. And then I started doing my research, and obviously Purple Urkel had been around for many many years, so people had been sending me that little snapshot. You mm -hmm. know, like hey man, do you get paid off this? Do you get paid off this? Right. I was like nope nope nope. And I never even thought to because it was just on the other side of that fence. Right. But man, our new world is gonna look so different. The cannabis industry is no different than the wine industry, man. You know, all the strains are just varietals, mm -hmm. and uh, and for the people who know what they're shopping for, you want to make sure they get good stuff. Man, that's really interesting to compare the cannabis industry to the wine industry, as opposed to the alcohol industry in general, no. because. Uh, well, there's more connoisseurs in wine, bingo. like the same type of... Right. I want everything associated with what I did um, in the 90s and with TGIF, et cetera, et cetera, to, to live on in a positive way. And um, I didn't create this. The sh this, is, this was the streets saying this is how a section of us interpreted sure. you. So when you just lean into that and you embrace that, it's like, it's like embracing your own graffiti art. You sure. know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm like, I, I'm sorry your building got defaced, <laughs> yeah. but but you know, damn, it's a good mural. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right, right, right. <laughs> before the, before I went and bought some some, it's purple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm purple sober, purple. <laughs> but I wanted to support it, and so I wanted to smell it. You know? Oh uh, yeah. Just wanted to smell it for the first time on the. Is that damn? Like, why am I doing this? I, 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 why, why did I do that, dude? Like. And it uh, smells so because good. You can, at least, you can at least let them know it smells that good. It smells so damn good. Well, I'm sorry. I, and, and, and I really regret smelling that because it smells so damn good. Like, I'm, like I, I'm a sober guy and I don't like yeah. to be around. The, nah, I feel you. Know, like, like, if because it's are too tempting. Yeah. If people are drinking alcohol right. around me, that doesn't really affect me. But if people are smoking weed, I'm breathing it in. Oh, yeah, but that's you one know, reason why like I'm not even... They told me that's so why uh, I'm not even smoking around. Well, I appreciate that. So just, just the whiff. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> and I'd be the first person to tell you, Steve, no. Yeah. Well, not Steve, you. oh, Steve, no. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how do you pick what strain you want for your right. legacy? So it's, you know, really, it's purple. That's what the, the, the actual name of the company is. Um, we just want to be the best in purples. So whether it's, you know, old family purples, GDPs, you name it, um, you know, Purple Urkel was more or less just of our, our invitation to do this. Um, and we're just, we're doing crosses and whatever and, and up and up, up in our Oakland facility. And, um, you know, whatever comes out great, we, we, we've done actual pheno hunts. And uh, that was interesting for What's me. What's a pheno hunt? Is that like, a, well, like the spores? Right, so we don't, that's where we, we pop the seeds and we get all these different plants, but we don't know what's special yet. So we just get rows and rows of plants and then you go and you smell the plants and like the first five plants I smelled, I turned to Brad and I was just like, you know, I don't think maybe I have the nose talent for this. Maybe somebody else who knows what they're doing. He says, no, keep going. And then finally I smelled something that smelled, smelled, uh, smelled special. And, um, and he said, okay, cool. And then this guy from behind us with a clipboard, he's like, write that one down. Hmm. So we, what we do is we go through all the, after we pop all these seeds, not all these plants are going to be good. We're looking for something special. So we end up with maybe five or six plants that are somewhat special. If you, and that's a, a big volume, but these guys did a good job, and uh, and then that you create a room off of that plant. Oh, you and you're talking about saying? seeds, not just. Yeah. So wouldn't you do like top uh, chop off the top of the plant and then just? Okay, now you. Do. That, right? <laughs> well, no, I don't know about about chopping off the top of the just actual seeds. Well, we pop these seeds and we and we and we and we fill up a you know a, a large portion of a room, so that we can find something special. Right. And oh. once you find something special, then you proceed with, with, with that particular plant, and, you, uh, and that would be your mother plant. And then how long does that take you to, from, from sniff to Ooh, man, that to was, today? That was like, um, that was a four to six month process. Really? really? Yeah, that really was. Because the first three months were just about investigation, and then the, 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 set, the back three months are what the, the ones that you chose. Yeah, dude. Thanks for watching that clip. And if you live in America, there's a good chance that this big badass tour bus is coming to your town with my bucket list tour. What is it? Well, it's an X-rated show 
full of all the stuff that I would have never have been allowed to do for jackass. And a lot of it is flagrantly illegal. So, it's adults only. And if you live in any of these states, then you better go to stevo.com and check out my tour schedule. Hurry up and get your tickets too, because it's selling out everywhere. Yeah, dude. Uh. Yeah, dude.